and we back. Now today is the day that you all been waiting for. The career simulation continues of our boy, Dwayne Neal. Now if you're looking at me like, who the heck is Dwayne Neal? You need to wake up because you missed one of the biggest bangers on KLT 4Q. Dwayne Neal is a player that we've created with just $15. I'll put the link in the description for you to watch the first episode because it is an absolute banger, one of the most fun videos I've ever created on this channel. And, well, you guys love this so much. It basically hit the all-time numbers for my channel when it comes to likes and views. So, I mean... That tells me that y'all want to see the rest of Dwayne Neal's career. So that's what we're doing in today's video. Now, since we are going through the rest of this man's career and he plays for the Knicks, I had to represent by putting on my only Knicks shirt I have. It's got a picture of, of Melo and Amari Stoudemire. We know that combination didn't work out great and never got them a championship. But Dwayne Neal could be the guy to help the Knicks finally raise a trophy again. They've been in a the drought. They've been in a drought. So let me give you a quick recap of the first episode. Um, we created Dwayne Neal. He was drafted first overall by the New York Knicks in 2020. And he has been dominating the NBA. How many NBA? So we're going into his fifth year. So in those five years, where awards... He has won two MVPs, been a five-time All-Star his whole career. He's been an All-Star, three-time Defensive Player of the Year and Rookie of the Year. He's done it all except get a championship. If I'm not mistaken, he's been to two NBA Finals, and one of them, they blew like a 3-1 lead. Like, he, he's been struggling. So hopefully, throughout the course of this video, we can get Dwayne Neal to win a championship. I'm not rebuilding or anything. We're just sitting back and watching the rest of his career unfold. Now, let me introduce you to the, what year are we in? We are in the 2025-2026 season. So his roster, his teammates, is him. It's James Harden. It is Mo Bamba. It is Victor Oladipo, Tristan Thompson. Uh, this guy from Greece, Monte Morris, a bunch of auto-generated guys. But they put together a really good team. And this team just went on to lose in the championship. And that's where we ended the video off. So this dude is a beast. Like, he's 50, 40, 90 every single year. His badges are ridiculous. Like, come on, man. He might be the next GOAT, especially since he basically came into the NBA averaging 20. Oh, I'm sorry, averaging 30. And if he continuously do that for the rest of his career, he's going to break all-time records and really be the GOAT. But the one thing that I keep seeing the media talk about is the fact that Dwayne Neal has zero championships in his first five years. Maybe that changes now. So again, we don't do the rebuild. So I'm just I just basically simulate the all of the off seasons and we pick it up once the regular season starts. Wow, we are simulating. Let me do a few housekeeping things. First, you of course should be leaving likes on the video because this is gonna take a long time. Y'all love these longer videos, so be sure to leave a like. Subscribe. We are super close to 700,000 subscribers. They're like a thousand away. So I know some of y'all are watching this video and y'all can help a brother out. So let's let's help a brother out. Um, also in the link in the description, we have my subreddit. I'm gonna do a video where I'm gonna react it to y'all memes or only the things that y'all can post in the KLT for Q subreddit. So do that. Link is in the description. And I'm also now I'm back on Cameo. I've gotten a lot of um, a lot of emails recently of people trying to get me to say happy birthday to their kids or or tell their friend that they're crazy for saying LeBron is this and that. Well, you can book me on Cameo while I send you a personal video. Basically, you get to personalize whatever. Uh, link is in the description. I've done a lot already and they've been super, super fun. All right, all of that is done. So we're back here. James Harden is 36 years old. Um, he's selling 91 overall. Last year, he averaged 20. His first year in New York, he averaged 25. So he's been really, really good. Close to 50, 40, 90 every single year. Uh, Mo Bamba is on the last year of his contract. He's not going to be a scorer or anything, but he's efficient. You know, he's shooting 40% from three last season. It doesn't seem like they made any changes to the roster, really. Uh, older Chris Dunn is now on the roster. But other than that, we got the same team. So this team is having another very good season, regular season. And Dwayne Neal goes back to back to back, three-time MVP as he averages 25 and a half, nine assists, and about 12 rebounds. And another 50, 40, 90 year for the boy. Again, just the all-time greatest. He's on his way. Another defensive player of the year and not coach of the year. There's a team that was better than the New York Knicks this season. And there you see Dwayne Neal there. 62 badges. Ridiculous, man. 62 badges. Really, really ridiculous. But we didn't start off with 62, if y'all remember. We started off with... I don't even remember. It was like it was a lot. It was like 40-something. But he developed all the way to 62 badges. So... He, this team ended up being the second seed, yo, they ended up being the second seed, so the Indiana Pacers are a team to look out for, if you're wondering about like James Harden and the company, James Harden does great things, look at his stats here, uh, yeah, he did really, really good, almost 50, 40, 90, he always misses it just by a little bit, always misses it just by a little bit, 
and this might be the team to win it all. First round is against Milwaukee Bucks. I'm sorry, we're not we're not the one seed. I'm thinking I'm so used to being the one seed. They're going against the Atlanta Hawks, who have Trey Young still, Jalen Evans, uh, who just won an award, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, and Stan Wagner. Already up 2-1. So let's see if they can close this one out. 3-1. And they go into the second round to go against the Miami Heat, who have Terry Rozier, Jimmy Butler, Seku, and Jokic in Miami. All right. Things are getting crazy. Conference finals. And now they are going against the one seed who have Malcolm Brogdon, Michael Porter Jr., Bo Bo, Edgar Harper, and Alan Sim Eunuch. That dude is the GOAT himself. He's a 98 overall guy. 98. So this dude, he's about his buckets as well. Good old fashioned. Two of the best players in the league meeting up in the conference finals. 2 1 New York. 3 1 New York. The New York Knicks are back in the NBA fight. I just. I just choked a little bit. The New York Knicks are back in the NBA final to go against Luka again with Porzingis. If I'm in, if I'm not mistaken, it's been a little over a week since I recorded the first episode of this. Uh, let's go to past champion. Oh, it was not. I'm sorry. I thought I thought the Dallas Mavericks were there last year, but no, it was the Portland Trailblazers that beat them. So let's see. Will Dwayne Neal win his first NBA championship? He's up 1-0 on the the Dallas Mavericks. He's up 2-0 on the Dallas Mavericks. He's up 3-0. Is Dwayne Neal getting his first championship? He is New York. He put the city on his back. And he got it for them. He averages 31-9-9 in the finals. Wow. Two and a half blocks, too. There it is. Dwayne Neal gets his very, very first NBA champ. Now we see what goes on in the offseason. Mo Bamba is a free agent. Uh, Triska Thompson, our guy from Greece, Monte Morris. Wow, this roster has a lot of spots to fill. Well, do they have cap? Um, you know what? Them, them boys. Wait, yeah, them boys gonna have a little bit of money to spare. I, I, I'm not the one controlling them, so I don't know what they're gonna end up doing. Do they bring the whole squad back and try to repeat? Do they make some minor tweaks to get a better fit for Dwayne Neal? Or, I, I don't know. We have to find out in a couple seconds, though. So, let's see what they did. Um, I was about to say, where's James Harden? He's just so old now. This overall is starting to drop. He's a 91 at the start of last season. Now, he's an 86. He'll still be good, though. But Mo Bamba is back on what seems like a max contract. Oh, close to it. $30 million. Oh, yeah. This man just got his max. All right. Uh, they bring back Tristan Thompson as well. Okay, leftist is still here. They basically said, let's run it back. They gave Monte Morris a four-year contract. Okay, he's 31 years old for your backup. Four-year contract is kind of crazy. But they also got Lu Li uh, from China, who is technically a rookie. He was drafted in 2022, and we're in 2026 now. So he hasn't played yet. He's just been sitting in the G League or sitting overseas, and now he's finally... On a roster, is he going to get rotational minutes, though? No. He's like one of the worst players on the roster, so he's not getting rotational minutes just yet. But let's see if Dwayne Neal and company can repeat. What is his contract situation, first of all? It looks like he's got two years left. He does. Um, but what is he saying? Somewhat loyal. I haven't made up my mind yet, but I think I'm going to give the team the first chance. Oh, okay. Okay. It seems like he might resign to New York. I mean... It's one of the biggest markets in the NBA. You one of the first people to bring them a championship and for, for so long. You'd be kind of crazy to leave them, especially since they continue to put at least good teams around you. Another championship for Dwayne Neal. He tallies in. Wait, wait. Sorry, but it would be foolish for me not to test my value in free agency this offseason. He didn't switch up real quick on the Knicks. That sounds like Kyrie. On the first chance I get, I'll resign. And then at the end of the season, he like ask me when I'm a... Hey. Dwayne is crazy. Okay, um, but his fourth MVP trophy, I mean, he tweeted, four MVP awards on the mantle, thanks to the league and my teammates, especially all the fans in New York. Let's celebrate in the playoffs. I mean, it seems like he's down and he's loyal by his tweets. But it is what it is. All right, defensive player of the year as well. Six man of the year went to James Harden. James Harden's not even starting no more. So New York Knicks are running it up, man. That is three awards. And make that four. This is the coach. This is the coach. Andrew Mason. So they won four out of the six awards, which is crazy. That sounds like a KOT4Q video trying to win every award. We have we have done that before. You ain't got to comment it, babe. We've done that before. So we did end up with the best record in the league. 
Uh, let's see what the stats look like. So they were starting Victor Oladipo over James Harden. In the previous seasons, VO was coming off the bench, but now he's the higher overall. Um, the point guard left us, man. This dude, Lefferis, he been doing his thing. Dwayne Neal, though, is carrying on the, the passing tip, on the scoring tip. First round of going against the Toronto Raptors, who still have Pascal Siakam, but now they have Kevin Porter Jr. Let's see how this goes. Do not lose to the 8th seed. They sweep them. Indiana Pacers are next. We already ran into this team, but last year was in the conference finals. This time is in the second round. How are they going to give us some... Oh, 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 no. Them boys came out to play. We're going to simcast it. We're going to simcast it to see if New York is have a chance to repeat. They got to get past these boys, and they do by five in this game. Dwayne Neal did his thing. Oh, this got to go game seven, baby. I, I might tune in to a game seven if it's close. Oh, we got to get out of game six. It don't look like they're going to do it. It looks like the New York Knicks, the defending champions, get eliminated in the second round. Wow, that is tough, Dwayne. That is tough. Now, next season, New York, this is to my New York Knicks uh, front office. Y'all got to get far because you're going to lose them. You're really going to lose them if y'all get eliminated in the second round again. But we have Chester Nunnally winning finals MVP for the Washington Wizards. This goes seven. Let's see what Dwayne did in the... Uh, postseason was he big carrying he averages 26 in the playoffs triple double he didn't shoot the ball very well for his standards for his standards and ultimately they end up losing the series so it wasn't really the team's fault he just didn't play to the level he's always played at but we just got to make sure nothing gets approved i don't know why i don't turn off this feature um but it is what it is free agency wise for this team victor depot is a free agent um, I don't even know who this man is. I guess he's the backup center at this point. He's a free agent, and then that's pretty much it. Some guys lower on the list, like Lou Lee is a free agent, but uh, we're going to see how it goes. Hopefully, Lou Lee signs because I'm looking for a new player to stand outside of Dwayne Neal, outside of Dusty Knox, outside of who else? Kenny Tatum. Uh, who, who else's name was? I don't know. I think that's all of the ones that matter. This is all the ones that matter. No disrespect for y'all out there that, that got the fan pages of the other guys. So, Dwayne Neal is here, of course. And James Harden continues to drop. He's an 82 overall now. And you know what? He may not even be in the rotation anymore. He barely is. 15 minutes a game. He's 38, though. This is literally might be his last season. But now the starting lineup still has the guy from Greece. New small forward, Willie Rhodes. He is the 30th overall pick. From this season and he's an eight he's a 78 overall as a rookie that is pretty that's pretty good for 30th overall pick rookie that is really really good he's starting now of course Dwayne Neal and then Mo Bamba of course y'all know who wins MVP you ain't gotta read you the numbers you see that boy is doing big things Giannis defense player of the year this time so Dwayne Neal's defense player of the year streak ends but five NBA MVPs in eight years of NBA play Again, he's about to go down history as one of the GOATs. And then we have a most improved player. That guy that I was talking about, Mike, he, the backup. Well, the backup had a great season, man. 14 points per game, about nine rebounds, a assist, a steal, and a half, and a block. Like, those are good numbers right there. And coach of the year went to Sidney Lowe, who is our coach. I guess we switched coaches this offseason. And, yeah, he had a good roster to play around with. Darius Garland, All-NBA first team. Shout out to him. Carl Anthony Towns, Giannis, and Luka. All right, so we ended up as the one seed once again. I want to see James Harden's numbers. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with old James Harden, but I am. He's still hooping, man. I mean, this is his least efficient season ever. I mean, yeah. I mean, yes, yes, ever. I'm looking at his stats. Other than his rookie season, everybody's rookie season is inefficient. And that's what happens when you, you're older, man. He can't hit the step back as fast as he used to, man. He's just an old cat. Uh, but this is another season where Dwayne Neal has a potential to win a championship. Philly is in the first round. Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid are still together, but they got Nikhil Alexander-Walker and John Isaac with them this time around. And Embiid is kind of old at this point, but they're up 2-0. No, you're not about to do... Dwayne is walking, bro. Oh, no. Bro, why does... At every video... Every time we do these long window videos, I always have at least one team that loses as the one seed. They didn't need just lose. They got swept. This man, Dwayne Neal, shot 64% from the field. Average 35, 11, and 10, and they lost. He's They lost him. That, I'm telling you, bro, he's not re-signing. He is not re-signing. I mean, I have to switch my shirt from the Knicks shirt as Luka gets another Finals MVP because I don't think it's Russell Westbrook retires. Oh, man, look at some of these greats. Um, 
Yeah, I don't think he resides, bro. There's no way he resides after being eliminated as the one seed. Where is is Dwayne Neal going on TV to for his decision? Is he at that level? I mean, he's got five championships. Only one ring, but five championships. Does he have his very own version? He is gone. He is gone, ladies and gentlemen. The king of New York has left New York. Now, New York Knicks fans, let's let's make let's make this realistic. If this happened in real life, do you burn his jersey? Or do you be happy that he brought you to a championship when the Knicks haven't done that in since the 70s? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's figure out where Dwayne Neal is. He didn't. Kevin Durant plays with Luka. He's ring chasing again. Kevin Durant is ring chasing again, ladies and gentlemen. They just won a championship. You're 40, Kevin. You're 40. Stop ring chasing. I thought it was going to be Donald Glover. Um, you're 40. And you're going to ring chase. You, you signed to the champion. Anyway, where is Dwayne? Oh, my God. The anxiety is getting to me, y'all. I got to. Where is Dwayne Neal? Wizards? No. Okay, he's here. Oh. <gasps> I think that's that's the jazz. He plays for the Utah Jazz. Oh my, who is his teammates? A bunch of randos. I mean, he's got Terrence Davis. Uh, he's got Mo Wagner. He's got Kevin Knox and Alonzo Trier. You leave New York to team up with players that you play with in New York? Oh my God. This team is not good though. He left a really good team for a team that's just not as good. Do I have a... I got to see if I have a Jazz shirt. I got to see. I had one. Look at that. Look at me. Um, this shirt is actually really, really fire because this is a basketball and it feels kind of like a basketball. Um, I guess we're rocking with the Utah Jazz shirt at least for the next three years and we'll see. Okay. I was about to say, if he is he's, he already said he's not loyal. This man's just going to flip-flop teams every couple years. Um, but okay, we're with the Utah Jazz right now, and let's see how this works. I got to switch over to the Jazz. Now, if you're wondering, last season, the Jazz were literally, though literally, the worst team in basketball. This man is doing his own I'm the GOAT rebuild. If he brings this team to a championship, he brings the bad Knicks and then the terrible, terrible, terrible Utah Jazz teams to a championship, it's a GG, bro. It's a GG for the GOAT conversations. But uh, starting off this... Oh, I don't want to have any control. One second. So, starting off the season, they're already 2-2. Two and two. Is there a world where this man doesn't even make the playoffs this season? Or is he just that stinking good that no matter what... Oh, that's a lot of L's piling up, Dwayne. You're not used to this. Dwayne Neal came into the New York Knicks, if you missed the first episode, and instantly made them a playoff team. Um, he, instantly made, he instantly made them a playoff team. We may miss the playoffs for the very first time in his career, and then he's gonna sit in his nice gazillion dollar mansion and think that I really why did I really sign to the worst team in the league? I mean, yeah, I don't I don't think they make it in the playoffs, dog. At this point, they're 16 and 22, and that they are four and a half four four games. They're four games out of the playoffs at the moment. And yeah, who the heck is second on this team in scoring? It is Alec Hurley. He's averaging 20. Dwayne Neal's only averaging 28, which is... He's not averaging a triple-double, basically, what he was averaging the last couple seasons. All right. We'll see how this turns out. But, again, it doesn't look like they're going to be making the playoffs. And then... Hold on. That's a nice three-game win streak in there. If they don't make the playoffs, it could tarnish this man's reputation. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm sending texts to my manager. And I look up, and this team actually have a positive record. Dwayne Neal, big backpack. They are... 43, 43 wins. Devin Booker wins MVP. Hey, shout out to D-Book. But 43 wins should be enough. Should be enough. This is the first year in five seasons where um, Dwayne Neal does not win an award at all. 43 wins. He was all NBA first team still, so he still is doing amazing things. He's still a top five player in the NBA. Averaging 26, which is basically, that is a career low. That is a career low for him. A career low in rebounds. A career low in assists. Oh, man. just But still, his career lows are still, like, amazing. Um, but they made the playoffs. <gasps> no, they didn't. They had a positive record. It didn't make the playoffs. They tied with the Spurs 
but the Spurs had the tiebreaker. Oh, boys and girls, the Utah Jazz do not make the playoffs. If they win this game right here, that they lost by 10, they make the playoffs. And Dwayne Neal had a stinker. He fouled out in a super important game of the season. I can imagine tuning into ESPN Sports Center and they just talking a lot of trash. Wow, the first season without Dwayne Neal in the playoffs. Crazy. I mean, they would have won against MVP Devin Booker and company. The Jared Allen won a finals MVP. He plays with Dino Petrovic. Son? He's a power forward. This man's big. Um, but yes, that's a very random team to win a championship. To, to have Jared Allen win finals MVP, the man averaged eight points in the regular season. But I mean, I, once you play well in the finals, it doesn't matter. Look at Kevin Durant. This man ring chased and didn't get it, and then he retired. Now, money-wise, this team is wrapped up, bro. They have a lot of money into Alec Hurley, who's an 89 overall, who's cool and all from Australia. But it doesn't like this team is going to have money to make any changes, really. Dwayne is going to have to really backpack him for the next this team for the next three years if they're going to do anything. And then maybe he leaves in free agency again. I don't really know. I don't know if he's going to turn into a loyal player eventually. But if I was him, I would get out. All right, so Luke Forbes, um, he was the backup to Dwayne last season, and he had a great year, man. He had a great year coming off the bench where he gets even better, and then, yeah, the rest of the roster is what it is. They lost, who the heck, Kevin, Kevin Knox was here, and they lost him, but our sixth man is a power forward, which technically could be a bad thing for Dwayne. Let's look at his minutes. Yeah, last year, he played an all-time low in minutes. Because the backup is the same position as him. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they got to share those minutes. But also, Dwayne Neal can run small forward and the other guy can run center. I don't know. I don't coach this team. But who does? What system is they run? They're running a grid and grind system, too. So, they got less possessions than other teams. So, that's also why his numbers are down. But let's see what this season consists of. They're already starting off rough. Dwayne Neal comes back hard. And he wins an MVP. His numbers are back up to where they were the previous seasons. 50-40-90 club. He gets six man of the year to the other guy. This man is putting up ridiculous numbers off the bench, bro. They got to find out a way to start both of them. Because Dwayne can run small four, man. Look at the numbers. You trying to tell me this man won't be good for spacing? Run him at small four and then run Luke Forbes at power four. This man is hoping. Defensive player of the year went to Florin Philmon. Um, he's a power four. I haven't seen a guard win in a very, very long time. Most approved went to Keith, whoever. And the coach of the year went to the coach of the Utah Jazz. So just that quick. It only took one season for Dwayne Neal to turn the Utah Jazz from the worst team in the league to a playoff team. And yeah, all we already saw what that boy Luke was doing. But what about the rest of the team? Who else helped out? Alec Hurley averages a dub too. So they got a nice little core right here, man. They working. 29 years old, 26 years old, and then uh, 30 years old. Let's see. First round of going against OKC, who has Darius Garland. And the defensive player of the year. So this team can clamp up, man. Dwayne Neal better watch out. And they get out of the first round to go against Dallas. Luca, what's up? Porzingis, what's up? We done played against y'all so much. You know what I'm saying? We played against y'all so much. I'm starting to think there's a nice little rivalry between y'all and Dwayne as we go to a game seven right here. Please be close. I wanna I wanna tune in and, and watch like a final shot. Oh, it's not close. It's not close. Dwayne Neal and company put up 163 points in regulation against them. And Dwayne puts up 40, 13, and 11. Oh, my God. Talk about efficient. 11 for 16? Conference Finals going against New Orleans who have Zion Steele. But they got the DeJounte Murray and DeAndre Aiden now. They have two guys, 98, 99. That front court is ridiculous. But we know that the back court got D because Devontae, uh, Murray, DeJounte Murray is there. Tyce Jones is the starting point guard of, of our team right now. So that tells you we're, you know, it's kind of, it's a little scuffed. You know what I'm saying? 2-0 lead by New Orleans. 3-1 lead by New Orleans. We got to sim cast and see if Dwayne Neal can wheel this team out of this round. It's a close one. You know we love the close ones. We love the close ones in a situation like this. They're up by four. It looks like they're going to walk out of here with a W, y'all. Uh, yeah, they won this one. Okay. They forced a game six, but will they force a game seven? Um, it's, it's, hey, it's looking, it was looking close. It was looking close. Dwayne, man, ah, that's tough, bro. That is down by six with 40 seconds left. It's over with. 
man, Dwayne, bro, you got to get back to the finals. One championship in your career would would not be showing how great you could have had. You were Dame spent his entire career in Portland. Round of applause for Damian Lillard and his loyalty. That's we don't see players like this anymore. Round of applause for Damian Lillard, Hall of Famer, I would guess. Last year, he, last year the man averaged one point per game. Then he backed it up with a 16 point per game season. I don't know what the heck happened there, but uh, yeah, shout out to Damian Lillard. You know, super loyal. Chris Middleton retires where it all started for him in Detroit. Is Damian Lillard gonna make the Hall of Fame? And he does with James Harden. Okay. Free agency wise for this team, Forbes. Luke Forbes is a free agent, y'all. I mean, oh, he's still on his rookie contract though, so he's probably gonna resign. Alejandro Santiago is a free agent from Mexico. And then Kelly Oubre was on the team. I had no idea. Kelly Oubre was on the roster. 15-year pro. Still looking young. And let's see what they do in free agency. And uh, see what the roster looks like going into next season. Okay, so Santiago resides on a one-year contract worth $10 million, So something tells me he's going to be he's gonna be out of here next season. Uh, but Luke Forbes, a big-time bag for Luke. I mean, the season he just had, I mean... Oh my God, that is a ton, a ton of money. Um, but listen, next season, you see their cap? They have a lot of money in cap because Dwayne Neal is coming off the books, but he has a player option. Will he accept that player option? Or was this Utah experiment too much? Somewhat loyal, this is my contract. Because right now, I'm thinking of coming back here next year. So it looks like he may be resigning, taking that extra year. But only time will tell. Dwayne Neal does it again. And that makes him the highest... Um, the most MVPs in NBA history, I think, at seven. Yeah. Only a one-time champion, bro. The other accolades are looking amazing, but the one-time champion is really looking not great. Six man of the year went to Luke Forbes again, but this man has another amazing season. He has just 14 or oh, 24 points per game. He was 50, 40, 90 club. I didn't even know this man had a jump shot too. This man is incredible. If Luke, I'm sorry, if uh, Dwayne does not resign, on, they'll be fine with having Luke just play there and start finally in his NBA career. Defense player of the year went to this guy again, and most approved went to that guy, and coach of the year went to our coach. Let's see how this goes. Utah in the first round against Houston, who have Shea Gills, Alexander, Wiggs, and Mo Bamba. It's a nice team there. They're not so young. In real life, we see... What is with Dwayne Neal's contract seasons that makes him lose in the first round? What the heck? Bro... I mean, he put up good numbers in the playoffs, He, uh, but it wasn't as efficient as the regular se Bro, this man got eliminated by the eighth seed again, bro. They're, like, when people arguing on Twitter about who the GOAT is, when it's LeBron, it's, it's Jordan, it's whoever, they're going to keep talking about how Dwayne Neal lost in the first round to the eighth seed two times. Not once, two times. Oh, my God. Now, is this man going to take his player option? That is the big old question of today. He has declined, ladies and gentlemen. He has declined, which means that he is out there on the market. And I'm simulating right to the next season. And we're going to see together where the heck Dwayne Neal signs. Potentially his third team. Could he go back to New York? Does he re-sign in Utah? But uh, I think this one would leave a bad taste in the mouth of the Utah fans. He signs here. You know what I'm saying? He think he'd, he'd go and then he does nothing for your organization? He's gone, ladies and gentlemen. He has switched teams, and he is in L.A. with Jalen Brown, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, Miles Turner, Cam Fuller. What? L I got to switch shirts again. Oh, my God. The, the Lakers? This man went to the Lakers? All right, so we got our back-to-back championship uh, shirt in L.A., man. He signs a four-year max contract. Any player team options, whatever. Uh, where the heck is contracts? No. So he's here for four years guaranteed because they definitely not trading a player like him. So his starting lineup look is like Steven Bender, who is a third year player. Stevie Bender, third year player from Tennessee. Anderson Sutton, 10 year pro. Jesus Christ, are we really that? Oh no, I'm still, I'm still in the jazz. No, 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 no. I need to go take over the Lakers now. So now his team looks like Jawan Evans, Jalen Brown, Byron Pittman, uh, Dwayne Neal, of course, and then Mouse Turner. Uh, they can definitely figure out a situation where Shea is starting at point. Oh, no, this is not Shea. This is Nikhil, but he can also start at point guard. But I don't control this team, so I'm not going to be the one to tell him. They're running a the space and pace, and Luke Walton is, is the coach. Yikes. Uh, let's see how the first season in L.A. goes. I guess he went there for the history, for the weather. 
What number is he wearing? Ooh, that's very important. He's wearing the number three. He's wearing the number three. Is the number three retired? I don't think it's retired. So I, I guess he could have it retired in LA. Dwayne does it again with another MVP. It's getting to the point where we're like, man, we tired of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this guy's killing it. Defensive player of the year voting, man. This dude is really the GOAT defender, huh? Okay. Um, Brad Malone's coach of the year, which is not a coach. We've been 49 games, so it's not the best record by far. They are the fourth seed here in LA. I thought this team was going to be better for sure. I was watching a simulation. I'm like, what the heck is happening? Malik Monk off the bench is the second leading scorer. So that tells you a lot right there. Jalen Brown. Is this man, is this his shot tendency is okay. Never mind. I was going to say him averaging just 15 points per game seems crazy. First round of going against OKC and they're already down. Dwayne, bro. I know you can't do it all yourself, but you got to do a better job picking what teams you sign to, bro. That is three first round exits in your career. And that's two back-to-back -back seasons. The Charlotte Hornets and Lonzo Ball wins finals MVP. Kyrie retires, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, Dwayne, bro, you got to be better. You got to think ahead. You got to think smarter because this team don't really have a way to help you out, dog. This is the way the team is going to be. So as of now, Dwayne Neal has been in the NBA for 12 seasons. He's 31 years old. Let's take a look at where he lands in not league history in NBA records. All-time points. We're going to see him somewhere. He is number 20 right now in all-time points. All-time three-pointers because that boy do got a nice jump shot. He definitely got a jumper. He is 15th. Um, rebounding. He's always averaged a double-double, so he might be up here in rebounding too. He's 42 in rebounding with a lot of room to grow. Assisting. Again, he always averaged a triple-double. Close to it at least. He is 28th overall in assists. Blocks. Hmm. It doesn't he average like two blocks a game some seasons? Because, I mean, some seasons, yeah. Oh, yeah. This man's going to go super high all-time in blocks. He's going to be super high in all-time in blocks because, like, you don't do that. You know what I'm saying? He is 16th already. And I think that's it. Steals, I don't think he should be this high. No, he's not. I mean, he's going to be top 50 for sure. But he ain't going to be up there with, you know what? He may not be top 50 because if I'm not mistaken, we gave him Rudy Gobert's um stealing and Rudy Gobert doesn't really get steals he's a rim protector so yeah he doesn't yeah he doesn't really get steals he averages about a steal a game throughout his career all right next season is approaching pretty much the same team they got a new starter point guard Herbert Wilkins and Malik Monk is still there they find they're finally starting to kill Alexander Walker but that just meant that they let Jalen Brown walk in free agency so the team probably got worse, ultimately. Dwayne does it again. This time he went 54 games. And, man, this is the GOAT defender, bro. What? Winning the Defense Player of the Award is proof that my hard work and effort on the defensive end was all. And then it cut itself off. But, like, four-time Defensive Player of the Year. He won Rookie of the Year. First team on defense five years. Third team on NBA. This dude's going to the Hall of Fame. This man is amazing. He's got, oh, my God, his badges are ridiculous. Okay. Um, but yeah, Dwayne Neal, they end up being the three C, so they are getting better, but it's not significantly better. Like the three C may not win a championship, but you never really know. They, Dwayne, Dwayne, do not. Oh my God, this man Dwayne can't get out of the first round. He can't get out of the first. I, I'm lost. Oh, the Bulls made it to the championship. Hello, who's on the Bulls team? Some auto-generated guys. Kobe White is still there. Bro, he can't get out of the first round. Dwayne, bro, you got to pick your teams better. I'm like, I'm, yes, I'm looking at you. You got to pick your teams better. There's no way a 99 overall player should be... Dude, you're literally the perfect basketball player. That's it. You should you should be signed to a team with a, at least one other player. At least one other player that's a 90. You're signed with 34-year-old, 35-year-old Malik Monk and 37-year-old Miles Turner. Like, come on, bro. This is what you want. This is... What, this is Oh my God, you are tarnishing your legacy, my guy. Going to L. I'm not changing my shirt again, bro. If he switches teams, that's it. I'm done. I'm fed up with you, Dwayne. I'm. I'm not. I'm no longer a fan of yours. I'm not following you, no matter where you go, until you show me that you can win. I don't care about the stats no more. We're looking for W's. We're looking for W's. In one championship, a player of your caliber is unacceptable. Jordan has six. LeBron has. LeBron has three. You got to at least match one of them. You can't be in go conversations. I'm sorry. You can't be in go conversations if you don't win it all a couple times, at least.
But then again, you do have like eight MVP trophies. So what am I? I don't know what I'm talking about. But look, even this season, y'all are just, you're a little above average. All right, another MVP. But okay, this man is incredible. I want to play. I want you to play with him, Dwayne. Be on his team. This man knows how to defend, at least. All right, so let's see how things go. Uh, you were the one seed this season. Okay. I, like, ultimately, you don't have a great track record with being the one seed. Ooh, Dwayne's badges are going down. Did y'all notice that? He's a 59 badges now. Is he starting to regress? It says he's very loyal, too. He's very loyal. Um, that might change. That, that definitely might change. 10th MVP is the most rewarding one yet. <laughs> That's what Dwayne Neal said. Okay. All right, Utah, former team. Do not let them boys beat you, and they don't. Next, you go against the Warriors, who I accidentally hit play. Game one, you lose. Typical Dwayne Neal fashion. Game two, you win. Okay, I'm going game by game from now on. Things are going too fast, and the process of going game by game in 2K sucks. I don't know why they took out that feature. Like, how much money did you save by taking out game to game simulation 2K? I, I, I bet you it wasn't a lot. Bam Adebayo is leading the team a with a bunch of 80 overalls. Um, similar to Dwayne Neal. Conference Finals. Okay. Conference Finals. Game one. Bam. Okay. Game two. Bam. It, like, it's not even Bam. Whoever the heck is Al Floyd, he's killing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's killing y'all, man. No, y'all not about to let a man named Al kill you. He's killing you, Dwayne. You're supposed to be defensive player of the year type dude. This dude is also a power forward, so y'all match up against each other. He's killing you. He's killing you. And he clapped you. Hold on. Look at what you're doing. You okay, game one, you, you tried hard, and there's not much you can do. All right, next game. To get, get yeah, you go, big win. That is a big time win. You don't want to be down 3-0, 2-2 series, y'all. Dwayne Neal has got his team on his back. It looks like they're one game away, ladies and gentlemen. And they go to the championship to go against the Indiana Pacers, who is a team that they've played before. In the first episode, the Pacers were the team to come back on Dwayne when he was up 3-1. A little bit of revenge, Dwayne? Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Game one, you lose. Okay. All right, game two. You, yep, you, you lose. Game three. Yep, all right. You, yep, you're losing. You're losing. And right now you are on the brink of having a one and three finals record. That's what you're. That's what you're on the brink of. But I'm not counting you out yet. Oh man, games. Oh okay. There you go. There you go, boys. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Anything is possible. I see LeBron. Listen. Are we talking goat conversations? If you come back 3-0 and win the series, <laughs> goat trophy right there. So come on. Don't play with these boys. Big wins. You're down by ten. Just that quick. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, Dwayne. No, Dwayne. Another finals blown. This man might be the real GOAT. That dude has been killing the league, man. How many championships, how many trophies do you have? Let's see. You have four, three championships, 12-time All-Star. This, this man is really, really good. Defensive player of the, like, defensive accolades and all. Okay, Dwayne, you have how many years in your contract now? Let's see. Because I know you say you lure you, but come on, G. You got to... This is last season, y'all. This is last season. All right, we're going to go and simulate to the beginning of next season. And the Lakers, I know he says he's loyal at the moment. But he should be thinking about his options. He, it's not me. It's him. But he should be thinking about his options. I mean, he's 33 years old, and he's still a 99 overall. His bad just did go down a little bit more. I think I'm about by one. Wasn't it 59? Or maybe I'm seeing things. Um, but he's still getting older and older. This is a new guy. He's a 12-year pro. He played his last season at Phoenix. They gave him a pretty decent bag, two-year two year contract. And, um, all right, Louis, let's go, Louis Graham. You, you're, oh, my God. This man is great defensively. Um, He is great defensively. Jeez, did he, but he has no accolades. He's never made an all-defensive team? No, with those type of badges and stuff? All right. I mean, Dwayne needed some more defense for that Alec dude because the Alec dude was killing them. Let's see how this season goes. Dwayne, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, Chief. You got to get out of this city. You can't do it. It's it's bad for your legacy. Yeah, not the MVP, but uh, new defensive player of the year. No, this is the guy that Dwayne played with in New York, right? Or am I mixing them up? Did he play for New York? 
No, it's another dude with, a, with the same first name, though. I recognize that first name. I was about to say, this man is glowed up. This is another 99 overall player. How many? Who? Who? <laughs> Mm, that's that's not the Tim Duncan I know. Um, <laughs> what? Two K is crazy. Once you get to these later years, man, I tell y'all, I tell y'all, man. Um, but yeah, okay, all right, all right. So they end up as a three seed this time around. I didn't go through to see if we're gonna have like juniors and stuff. I like sometimes Two K has it where like you go so deep into the future, some kids' sons end up making it to the NBA. So let me quickly just go and see if I see any juniors. Uh, the answer to that would be no. Um. Only juniors I know or see is Dennis Smith Jr., Wendell Carter Jr., Michael Porter Jr., yada, yada, yada. All right, so Luka is a 91 overall. He started to regress. Uh, but look who's the point guard of the other team. Lou Lee. Lou Lee is here. He's going to kill us this series. I already know. My boy Lou Lee really out here. Uh, they get eliminated. Now we're going against Houston in the second round who have Shea. He's the only guy we'd recognize. Let's see how this goes. 2-1 Lakers. 3-1 Lakers. Uh oh conference finals here we come the eight seed pelicans no zion but a gritty team the eight seed in the conference final the eight seed potentially going to the finals would be monumental for basketball and they are dominating you did not just beat us by 40. the eighth seed is in the championship what what I want them to win. Oh, they're down. Dang, I wanted them to win. But overall, the five seed wins it. All right. Content tells Marcus Smart, Jokic. We have some players retiring here. I'm guessing two of those players make it to the, the, the Hall of Fame. But now it is free agency for Dwayne Neal. I don't even want to watch or stop and see what's going to happen. I just want to look at the roster and see if we still rock in the purple and gold. Well, I told you I'm not trying to search no more, and I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep my word on that one. But uh, we about to find out where the heck he went or if he went anywhere. I mean, y'all lost to an eight seed again. That's the third time Dwayne Neal has lost to the eight seed. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, moment of truth. He is here. He resigned. Four-year deal. He is 34 years old at this point, but he's decided that he wanted to be a Laker for life, um, which is good, which is good, I guess. Uh, I just don't know if you're going to win any more championships, but... Here we are for at least four more years. And I think we're going to get to a point where we're starting to go faster because uh, what, what more can, can happen at this point? Another one. Uh, that's all I can really say at this point. And Jason Kidd wins coach of the year. He's still out here coaching. He's he an old man at this point. And they end up being the two seed this time around. So, you know what? They're getting, they're getting better. Spurs in the first round. And they almost blow it. Jeez. Oh, man. Second round is against the Memphis Grizzlies. They sweep them. Another eight seed. Another eight seed making some noise back-to-back -back seasons. And they are in the championship to go against Philly, who have RJ Sloan as their best player. We are better than them, team. We are better than them. Let's go, Lakers. 3-1 lead. We simcast and We got to see him raise a trophy. Mm, I don't think it's happening in this game. No, it's definitely not happening in this game. All right. Don't blow it now. Don't blow it now, Dwayne and company. All right, this should be it. Yeah, this looks like a win to me, boys. Okay. They, they had a nice little comeback right there, though. I, no cap. And they're they're still in the game, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're jumping in. One and a half minutes left. This is an elimination game for the Lakers. I mean, for the 76ers. So, they need a win to prolong this series. Um, We got to make sure that we are not controlling anything. Perfect. And we got to make sure we're on 2K cam. All right. So, who is it? Spencer Keller. He's 4 for 11 from the field in tonight's game, and he has 11 points. Big time free throws right here. First one is up, and cash. All right, can I fast forward free throws? I got to fast forward free throw. Missed the second one, but put back is no good. Dwayne Neal, oh, he's too big. He's too strong. Big time bucket for Dwayne Neal. Is he no longer wearing the number? Did Dwayne Neal pull a Kobe Bryant and change his number? He's wearing the number 17 now. He was wearing the number 3. He was wearing the number three for a very, very long time, y'all. And now he's rocking the number 17. He is a changed man this season. He goes to the post. He's got space. He passes it. Wow, Dwayne Neal passes the ball? Mm -hmm. That does not happen very, very often. Step back from whoever. See, I don't know any of these players. So, the only player we know is Dwayne Neal. 
and that's a big time bucket it is one minute left and the lakers are up by five could they close it out in philly a backdoor cut a beautiful one by rj sloan for a bucket i remember that name i remember that name here we are with Dwayne neal maybe trying to milk a little bit of clock but it's still just a one possession game he gets the corner oh my god behind the back pass to his starting center whose name i refuse to pronounce and try to butcher and wow it is back to a two possession game five point lead for the lakers rj sloan frees up a little bit trying to make some moves happen he passes it back to mendez a couple pump fakes and then a jump shot for mendez and it's good mendez with the double the double pump fake He's got 15 points on the night. All right, number 18 brings the ball up the court. Picked by Dwayne Neal. He's open on the cut and a dunk by Dwayne Neal. He is showing why he has been a basically 12-time Hall of 12-time MVP at this point in his career. Can he add another NBA trophy to his collection? Oh my god. Oh my god. What the heck was that jump? I do not know. But five-point game, Dwayne Neal, if he hits some free throws here, it's going to be over. I'm not watching free throws, y'all. I'm not watching free throws. Some cats laugh live, though. First one's up. He makes it. Second one up. And he makes it. Time is winding down, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like they are going to be dribbling it out. Not, I'll dribble it out, I guess. Give it to Dwayne. MVP. Dribble it. You know what? Forget that dribbling stuff. Ah, make, make some move, Dwayne. Oh, jumper. He missed it. I messed up his field goal percentages by a little bit. And another championship is in L.A. That's what I get. I told him to leave. And he resigns. And ultimately gets the Lakers another championship. Wow, Dwayne Neal. I guess, I, I bet he could not feel any better. He gets a championship in his first team with the New York Knicks. And about a decade later, he gets another. It is a beautiful sight. For the LA Lakers and Lakers fans across the globe. Especially with having a former Laker as your head coach. Even though in reality this man is not a very good coach. Uh, but once you have a GOAT on your team. like It does not matter who the coach is. And for some reason Dwayne Neal is not the one holding the trophy. Uh, okay. I'm guessing he hard carried. But at the end of the day. Oh he has the MVP trophy in his hand. The Lakers. In that game Dwayne Neal put up 38, 13, and 12. Just ridiculous. Three, three steals and two blocks. What a great, great performance by an all-time great Dwayne Neal, second finals MVP. All right, so now things go a lot faster. He's got a second championship. He should be retiring in the next five years or so. So we're doing it rapidly. Even if this man go to five straight championships, we're not jumping in. We're just going to sit back and relax and watch it. Kobe White is on the team. He is 36 years old, um, but he's on the roster, man. Dwayne Neal is still a 99 overall. So once he does eventually retire, he's going to retire as a high 90s. <laughs> Season is wrapped up, and we have a new MVP. This man has came into the scene. I mean, he's been here for 12 seasons, but he's also 99 overall. A lot of great power forwards in the league, man. A lot of great power forwards in the league. So 49 wins for the Lakers this season. I didn't even... Let's see what Dwayne Neal did. It was not enough to win MVP, but he still averaged 30, 10, and 6. So he put up amazing numbers. Uh, first round, a good old-fashioned LA versus LA. And they get out of the first round. Another 8 seed beats a 1 seed. It's just happening too often now. Conference finals for the Lakers. Championship. Lakers Bulls. Lakers Bulls. Okay. All right. Can he go back to back? He's up 3-1. Two back to back. His, his late career is killing it. Two back to back. 36-year-old Dwayne Neal. He does not retire, but a lot of the guys around the league do back-to-back -back titles for Dwayne Neal and the LA Lakers all right so it doesn't look like we're gonna see another MVP trophy from Dwayne which is fine you know what I'm saying he he ran his course he's still all NBA first team every single season he's 37 years old he's still one of the best players in the league but this year they were the 6 seed, 42 and 40 he put up personally his stats were 25 points per game so he's starting to regress a little bit as far as points per game goes but as he six seed they get out of the first round Sec oh, then they get eliminated in the second round. Okay, it was too good to be true to think they were going to three-peat, and they didn't. And Alejandro Santiago, don't we know him? Hold on, don't we know Alejandro Santiago? He played with us in Utah. Wow, good for him. Good for him. Dwayne Neal is not retired yet. And we finally see our first regression from Dwayne Neal. He's only a 95 overall now. He's only a 90, only a 95 overall now, but he is 37 years old at the moment. 
I cannot think that he's going to go more than, what, two more years, three more years? At 40, you should call it a wrap in most cases. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, another not amazing year for the Lakers. Uh, they win 44 games. Dwayne Neal is still all NBA first team. He averaged 21 points per game with seven rebounds and six assists. Still 50-40-90 club every year. But this time, they are the four seed going against the Golden State Warriors, and they get out of the first round and go against the Trailblazers, who beat them in seven, who beat them in seven. Uh, they were going against, you know, two-time MVP right there. So it is what it is. And the Heat, Stan Curry. <laughs> Stan Curry wins finals MVP as the six seed Miami Heat win it all. Trey Young, Jackson Hayes, Jaron Jackson Jr., Shea Gibbs, Alexander, and Luka. All these guys retire. And I'm guessing that all of these dudes, oh, just three of them. Luka, Trey, Shea are the three to make it to the Hall of Fame. And y'all... I'm, I'm just going to keep guessing that this might be the last year of our boy Dwayne Neal. It might be. You never know. This man might try to play until he's 60 because he's still a 90-plus overall at the moment. So he can still hang with the young boys. But, I mean, shouldn't he be worried about spending time with his kids and stuff at 40? Like, come on, dog. You can work. You can still work with the NBA. You can become a coach. You become an announcer. There's so many things you can do. He's an 89 overall now. He's losing badges, too. He's 41 badges now. Um, his defensive badges are not Hall of Fame. His finishing badges are gone, bro. All bronze. That's crazy. He can still light it up from shooting. But, yeah. This, this might be it. This might be the last rav for the Lakers and Dwayne Neal. It looks like for the second time in Dwayne Neal's career, he will not be making the playoffs. And he was not all NBA first team. Is he second team? Not second team. He's third team. There he is. There he is. But they did not make the playoffs. The Lakers, four, uh, 38 wins this time around. And could this be the final go for Dwayne Neal? Let's find out. He is still going. Zion called it a career at 39. Deuce Garland called it a career at 40. But this man refused to give up. He refused to go. I mean, the, come on, dog. You 39 going on 40, bro. Just call it a I'm telling you to call it a career because I'm ready to call it a video. I'm ready to call it a video. So I guess we're going at least one more season. Wait, what is his contract situation? Let's see. He's got one year on his contract. Okay, so maybe that's maybe this is the last year because he will be a free agent and he's not leaving money on the table. You know what I'm saying? Because this will be his last year. Also, huge drop-off. He is an 83 overall with just 21 badges, bro. They're just taking his badges away. Literally, he's got zero uh, finishing badges now. They took them all away. They took, they're starting to take away his shooting badges. He had a lot of Hall of Fame, you know, at the beginning of last season. One thing that usually don't go is a jump shot. You know what I'm saying? If you're a great shooter, you're a great shooter. I understand the finishing badges going with his athleticism, him being almost 40. But the shooting, hey, if you got a torch, you got a torch. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs again, boys. They are... 40 and 42, obviously not amazing. Dwayne, is he going to be making the team? I doubt it. I just don't think. Yeah, he just, he ain't got it no more. He ain't got it like that no more, which is fine. You know what I'm saying? You're 40 now. It's okay that you didn't make an all-NBA team. And the Bucks won a championship with Monty Malone as their best player. Is it time for Dwayne? This man will not Stop. This man will not retire. You are 40. 4 0, my guy. You are 4 0 years old. And you're not going to, bro, you're not getting another bag, bro. I'm telling you, he's going to be a free agent next season. Watch. It's overall still dropping. He's going to be like a 75 overall. And you're just going to sit in free agency. You should go out on your own terms by just retiring now at 40. Unless the Lakers want to do you a solid because you helped them win two more championships and just resign you just cause. Cause right now I don't think I don't think they bring yeah, you didn't they didn't bring you back, my G. They didn't do that. They didn't do it. So let me find him. He is a free agent. Exactly as I told y'all. He is a free agent. So he's gonna go out as a free agent, bro. You should have just oh my god, that's a hey, you done made some bad career choices here and there, Dwayne. This is the worst, bro. Just you should have had your nice little farewell whale tour. Not thinking you telling people you will be back next season. Just how you farewell to him, man. You one of the, you were literally breaking records. You know what? Let's look at records, actually. Um, because he's not going to sign another contract. Let's just go look at league history. Nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted to go. I wanted to go to NBA records. Dwayne Neal is the all-time leading scorer 
with 48,368 points. The GOAT. LeBron's not even second. KD is second. Devin Booker's fifth. Oh my God. Jeez, this is crazy. Uh, Dwayne Neal, 48,363 points. Field goals made, number one. Three pointers made, number one, by 500. Free throws made, second, behind Karl Malone. Rebounds, fourth. Assist, sixth. Blocks, second all time in blocks. Steals, he's not going to be very high on steals. But he might be in here somewhere. Uh, I'm tired of looking. Minutes played. I mean, the boy got to be up top. Number three, jeez. Turnovers. Oh, all this time played. This man did not turn the ball over. That's crazy. Points per game. Uh, none of that's super relevant. But he, yeah, all time records. Ridiculous. Oh, 40 point games. He had 200. And 37 40-point games, 50-point games, 28, triple doubles, beat Luka Jokic and Russell Westbrook, 314 triple doubles in his career. What about per in the game? He didn't beat Wilt or anything in total points in the game. Field goals made in the game, you're not beating Wilt. Three-pointers made, he ended up with 14 is his career high. Free throws made, nope. Rebounds, and nope, you're not taking that. Assist, nope. Blocks, nope. You know what? We should just go to him personally. You know what I'm saying? So let me find Dwayne Neal. He should be relatively high here. Okay. Then we go over to game highs and everything. 62 was his career high in points. Three pointers made 14. Free throws 19. Rebounds 26. Uh, 15 offensive rebounds, 19 assists, five steals, eight blocks is career high, and 47 minutes is his career high in minutes. But okay, let's finally get his nice little ceremony, get him induct, inducted, see how many of the four te three teams he played for are going to retire his jersey. The season has wrapped in the 8th seed, made it to the finals, but lost to the Jazz. Wow, shout out to the Jazz. All right, there it is. Dwayne Neal has called it a career. Wow, what a, what a great time this video was. Okay, Hall of Fame inductees. As you can guess, yeah, okay. Jersey retirements. All three places retire his jersey. Wow. Now, as you can see, there is a gap, right? There is a gap. So he spent three years as the number three for the Lakers. And the year number four, he switched to number 17. I don't know what happened. Who came into his team and took the jersey number away from the all-time GOAT? But all three, all three places retire his jersey. And that is it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you can probably guess, this took me a very, very long time. So I would appreciate a like, especially if you got to this point in the video. Uh, comment down below, Dwayne the Goat. And I know you wanted the, the legends to, uh, to watch the entire video. This has been Kenny. Peace.